for this next part, I kind of titled my slide, Life, PhD, and Industry. And, and the reason being is that this, the next three bullets that I'm going to talk to you about, time check, perfect. Um, I'm moving really quickly. You should slow me down. Throw something at me if you want me to talk slower. Um, the next three bullets are, are things that as we've been, as I've spent time working at Intel, I look back at how I thought my life was going to go, how my career was going to go, were things I were doing in some fashion, but I never sat down and, and, and tried to be a little bit more strategic about it. And in my role today, there are tactical portions of my job, and, and these are two words that we talk about so much as we look for new people at Intel. Are you a tactician? Are you a strategist? Are you both? Um, and the reason being is that the tactical portions of your job are, do we have enough of this part? Right? Can we support this tool set for the next 10 years? Is this part going to run, run out and I'm just going to have a tool that no longer functions? Right? I got to go beat the pavement. I need to go figure out where I can get this part from. I need to chat with folks and make sure we have a healthy supply chain around that. Now, the strategic part is, who do I want to be the next supplier at this process node? Right? Do I want supplier X, supplier Y, supplier Z, and why? What are the benefits to them? But more so, what are the benefits to Intel? And then collectively, what are the benefits for each other? Right? What's that harmony that we're going to strike? And so being a strategist is what we've all learned to do. Um, we might not have realized it. Uh, maybe it was sloppy, or we fumbled, or we fell a couple times, and so we think that I'm not the best strategist that could be. But it's not true, right? I remember showing up at Florida the first day, and I was like, I guess this degree can be like a placeholder until they kick me out, and I don't actually get this degree. Um, but at the end of it, you got a degree, and you're like, whoa, actually, I did it. Right? Four and a half years ago, I didn't think I knew what physical chemistry was. Um, and the first week I showed up, and they gave me a placement exam, I was like, I thought we were done with that stuff, right? I'm here, right? And, and so you, you started to think about what the next four to six years of your life were going to look like, and you mapped it out. Here are my goals, right? And, 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 and you tried your best to meet those goals. And so the first one that I wanted to bring up was an OKR. Maybe you've heard of an OKR, maybe you haven't, but an objective key result um, is a really great way of starting to like utilize some of that strategic skill and strategic mindset that you've been developing, you've developed, and have been utilizing for all your years so far. And there's a great TED Talk. I'm not going to do it justice by trying to pretend I gave that TED Talk, so I recommend you just go look at the OKR TED Talk. Um, but the reason I put it up here, and it's kind of, I'm lucky that this worked out for me, Andy Grove, one of the founders of Intel, was the one who introduced OKRs at Intel. So it, it's, it's serendipitous right, for me that Andy Grove introduced OKRs at Intel, and now I can talk to you about OKRs. Um, <clears throat> but you can see how some of these companies have, it started by management by objective, and then transitioned into this concept of objective and key results. And your objective should be grandiose, right? It should be large. It should be amazing. It should be something that you don't think you can achieve. I'm going to solve cancer, right? That should be your objective, right? Now, are you going to solve cancer? Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But it's a big claim, right? I'm going to build the next disruptive technology for Intel, right? OK, great. That's your objective. Well, how are you going to accomplish that, right? The key results or the, the keys for this objective are the ones that are a little bit more palpable, right? The ones that you can swallow, the ones that you can achieve. Now, you can choose to be very easy on yourself and say, well, what I'm going to do today is clean my desk is one of my key results, right? And you're going to get 100% at the end of the quarter or whatever you're using as your time tracking mechanism. Or you can say, I'm going to introduce five new vendors in this field that's never been in this field before and get them acclimated to the concept that they should be in this field. Now, can you achieve that in a quarter? Probably not. Right? I'm also going to be very realistic on that. But that's a strong key result for bringing out the next disruptive technology. And, and the goal of it is not to just continue to beat on yourself that oh, I'm only hitting 10% of my OKRs. It's to really build a mindset where you're pushing yourself forward. And in addition, when I write this OKR, I'm going to talk to my manager about it. I'm going to talk to his manager about it. I'm going to make sure my OKR is in line with Pat Gelsinger is doing at Intel as a CEO. Uh, 